Are you facing the similar issue in Excel when you click on insert ribbon tab and when you press slice a ribbon, right? You will get a pop up like this. Why we are getting this option? There is a simple solution for it. You have to convert this entire data first in a table. Okay. It can be your pure table or maybe normal table. Okay. So to convert a table, what you have to do, simply select any cell and then press control T. Okay. And convert this data into a table first. To convert your data in a table format, automatically at the top, you will get a multiple option available. Resize table, summarize with pure table, remove duplicates, so on and so forth. Okay. Even there are some ample amounts of designs too. Okay, whichever design you liked it, you will keep it basis your requirement, folks. Okay, so now since I have picked a this particular design for me, right? Now I have to insert a slicer. So I'll simply click on this option slicer and I'll say department joining it. I'll hit a enter. Divide this into a two. So simply select any slicer. And at the top, you will see buttons and just increase a columns over here. Okay. You will see you can divide your slicer in a two columns. Okay. You can add a number of columns if you need. I'll just insert a two columns simply. And this is how beautifully I have inserted a slicer over here. Now, suppose I want to see only data for the HR. I will just simply click here and I can see the data for HR. If I check IT, I'll check only for IT. If I want to compare IT and marketing, I'll just select IT and marketing over here. Okay. So I can only see IT and marketing. If in case I want to see IT and sales, then I can see the data for IT and sales. So this is how beautifully you can insert a slicer option in MS Excel without hassle. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.